Hello, this is Easy, and I have a plugin you'll be able to download below the video for ZBrush 4R8, and it's called the Easy Boolean. Um, as you can see here, I got uh, some icons it's called Add, Subtract, and Intersection. All right, I made this plugin because it makes it a whole lot quicker than doing it the uh, old traditional way. Uh, one thing I hated was always coming over here in the Subtool Palette, okay, and always selecting these little icons also uh, because these little icons cannot be individually dragged for your custom UI but here you can it says add subtract and intersect you can not customize and drag each individual one to your UI so this makes it a whole lot quicker and another thing is uh, when you selected one of these uh, icons let's say uh, this one here all right the live boolean button would not be active so that made two steps so you had to come over here and turn this on okay I did not like that okay so with this new plugin it doesn't matter which one you select it's automatically gonna turn the live boolean on so that makes it quicker uh, another thing is as you can see here uh, these little icons here uh, it's really kinda hard to see what they do and if you're new, you're, you're probably going to a little be a little confused. You'll just probably end up having to click this to kind of see what it does. Um, these little icons kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is what ad would look like you here. And if you look at the icon, it might be a little hard in video to see and subtract. Uh, it's a little bit better for you to visualize and see. Here's just a little tip on this. Uh, this script will quit working if the active tool over here in the sub tool is not visible. What I mean by this, let's say I'm selecting the cube here. All right, I can still see it, but if I move the scroll bar and hide it, well, I'm probably going to get an error if I select any of these three buttons down here. So I really don't want that to happen. Um, basically, what I like doing anyway is I like to hold the Alt key down and just select my object by hovering over the object and I'll click it as you can see it updates there and we'll select the cube updates there All right. we'll go back to the sphere here and then we can select them right here we go ahead and activate the gizmo so you can kind of see here uh, this is my custom gizmo so if you see it's something a little different than you have uh, it's because I have this custom gizmo and I also have that on my YouTube that you can download and try that. Okay, once you download the link, which will be below the video, you'll have uh, in a zip file, it's called the Easy Boolean folder and Easy Boolean ZSC. Um, you're going to see my directory up here. Yours might be different. Mine's in a Z. Startup and Z Plugin 64. Yours might be different, so don't follow exactly. If you need to know more information, uh, do a search on that. So, this is where this needs to go first. Okay, I paused the video, and uh, this is kind of how ZBrush would look like on default. And once you have that plugin installed, all right, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to drag it over here, which I already have, so you'll see it over here in the Z Plugs. Um, then we're going to need to go into the preferences, uh, config, and we're going to have to enable customize here. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these over here. Uh, let's start with the last one, intersect, control, alt, click, and drag, and just drag these over here. It's just a general idea. Uh, once you get that done, close all this up because we don't want to store it this way in our, our config. So we'll move that over there. Click that over there. And drag that down here. Uh, and you can just move whatever you want right there. And just make sure everything is kind of like you want it, not with these pellets open because um, it will probably store it like that. Then when you go to the preference, then you can do the store config start ZBrush you will have these little image icons down here I had paused the video and edit the script I uh, kind of updated it 
and I'm going to show you what I did and it's this new button here called make boom and mesh this is what you want to press when you're done okay it's in the Z plugin here and easy boolean and here's our new button here all right what I did was basically the same way when I drug all these icons down at the bottom I did the same thing with this button here took this button here and drug it down here all right then I um, stored my config here the way this is all set up but uh, before I go on any further I did one more thing but you can't see it until I have 3d tool um, what I'm saying is when I store my config um, when it starts up there's gonna be a button up here you can't see it because ZBrush uh, starts up with a non 3d tool and it's making this button be invisible to see until I have a 3d tool active let me explain that a little bit better so let me go light box here and if you look down here at the bottom here where it says make boolean 3d mesh there's gonna be a button up here as soon as I select a 3d mesh all right and it's grayed out and it just popped up right there all right let's go in edit mode and then I'm going to just go ahead and select one of these so I'll just activate the DS divide. Um, what happened is, well, not what happened is, uh, we open up some tools here and we'll drag down here and we got the make boom and mesh and the DS divide. This is the DS divide over here on the right. This is the, I took this button here when I did a customize and I took this DS divide and drug it to the UI here. And for the make boom and mesh, I did it from Z plugin over here. All right, this one here, make boom and mesh, is different than this one here. Uh, let me explain. Uh, as you can see, I got two sub tools. When I press this one here, I still have two sub tools, and it did not switch to my new boom and mesh. I have to go find that to do that. As you can see if I select here, um, there is no sub tools. This is my new mesh. It is making me go select it. So I, it's kind of an extra step I really don't care for by making boolean mesh. Because pretty much when you're making a boolean mesh, you're done. Okay, you're done with it. You want your new mesh. This is what this button does here. All right, if I press this button, keep an eye up here. It'll be from two uh, sub tools to the original mesh when you're done. All right, so it's done. No sub tools. And it's just one quicker step without you know have to do an extra click kind of like uh like these little icons for add subtract whatever i mean once you select them let's say boons off and you keep on selecting these um they don't work unless this is on i mean if you are pressing these buttons more than likely um good chances you're going to want that boolean on so it doesn't come on by selecting these and i think the best way to have it done is once you select them, it should automatically come on because you're going to be using them anyway. It's just one less click. I had to pause the video one more time, and uh, before I go here, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go ahead and press uh, Make Boom and Mesh. And what this does is also uh, copies the tool when I press this button. Um, it comes in handy because I can either select it here to get both of these back. If I got a mess going on here and I'm kind of not know what's going on, just a bunch of junk, and I want to go back to the original one I started, um, when I press the make boo and mesh, it already copied it. So all I need to just come over here and press paste tool, and then I get the mesh that I was editing right back right there. So that's an extra quick step for you there.